Have you ever wondered about the most haunted places in France? France, a country of rich culture, history and undeniable charm, is also home to some of the eeriest locations on the planet. Haunted places, often steeped in history and folklore, have a certain allure that draws in the curious and the brave. They offer a thrilling exploration into the unknown, a peek into the past, and a chilling connection with the afterlife. One such place which sends shivers down the spine of even the most hardened explorers, is the infamous Catacombs of Paris. This subterranean labyrinth stretching for more than 200 kilometers beneath the bustling city, is a macabre monument of human history. It was born out of necessity in the late 18th century when the city's cemeteries were overflowing, leading to the decision to move millions of skeletal remains into the abandoned stone quarries below. Over the years the catacombs have earned a reputation as a haunted site, Whispered tales of ghostly apparitions and eerie sounds echo along the damp narrow tunnels. Some speak of the Green Man, a former quarryman lost in the labyrinth and never found. Others report encounters with the spirit of Philibert Aspert, a doorkeeper who ventured into the catacombs in the late 1700s and disappeared, only to be discovered 11 years later, his remains just a few steps from an exit. But perhaps the most chilling accounts come from those who claim to have heard the faint echoes of the past, the scraping of bones, the murmurs of forgotten prayers, the distant tolling of a funeral bell. These spectral sounds, they say, are the remnants of the countless souls whose earthly remains now reside within these shadowy depths. So if you dare to explore the depths of Paris, the catacombs might just be your first stop. A place where history and horror intertwine, where every corner can hold a new story, and where the echoes of the past continue to reverberate through the silent stone walls. No matter what you believe, one thing is certain. A visit to the catacombs is a journey you won't soon forget. How about a haunted island to send chills down your spine? Welcome to Mont Saint-Michel. Mont Saint-Michel, a small rocky islet in Normandy, France, is home to an imposing abbey that's as beautiful as it is eerie. This island, a stronghold of architectural grandeur, has a rich tapestry of history that dates back over a thousand years. Its strategic fortifications and its role as a place of pilgrimage have woven a colorful yet ghostly narrative that continues to captivate visitors to this day. The Abbey was an influential center of learning and spirituality in the Middle Ages, attracting scholars and pilgrims from all over Europe. The monks who lived here were known for their devout lifestyle and the creation of beautifully illuminated manuscripts. But it's not the scholarly pursuits that have given Mont Saint-Michel its haunted reputation. Legends and ghost stories are as much a part of this island's history as its stone walls and winding staircases. Tales of ghostly monks and spectral knights echo through the abbey's cloisters and parapets. One particular tale tells of a monk who was bricked up alive within the abbey walls for his numerous sins. His tormented spirit is said to still haunt the abbey, wailing in the dead of night. Another chilling tale is that of Louis de Stouteville a knight who defended Mont Saint-Michel against an English attack in the 15th century. Even after his death it's said that his ghost continues to patrol the ramparts, standing guard over the island. Some visitors even claim to hear the clinking of his armor and the soft murmur of prayers on the wind. But it's not just ghostly monks and knights that haunt Mont Saint-Michel. The treacherous surrounding sands, known for their quicksand properties, have claimed countless lives over the centuries. Many believe that the souls of those unfortunate victims still roam the sands, their ghostly whispers warning others of the deadly danger. A spectral visit to this island fortress is sure to leave you with goosebumps. From the haunting tales of monks and knights to the eerie whispers of souls lost in the sands, Mont Saint-Michel offers a chilling journey into France's spectral past. Next up we visit the grounds of the infamous Bastille, a symbol of the absolute power of the French monarchy. Once a towering fortress in the heart of Paris, the Bastille was a chilling testament to the absolute power of the French monarchy. It was originally built in the 14th century to protect Paris during the Hundred Years' War. However, over time it transformed into a state prison, a place of dread and despair. Imagine walking the cold, dimly lit corridors, where the air is thick with the echoes of the past. The Bastille was a place where political prisoners, often detained without trial by the king's royal decree, were cast away. Among its infamous prisoners were the scandalous Marquis de Sade and the enigmatic man in the Iron Mask. As we delve deeper into the Bastille's history, we find ourselves in the midst of the French Revolution. It was the 14th of July 1789, 
when an enraged mob stormed the fortress. The storming of the Bastille was a pivotal moment in French history, marking the beginning of the French Revolution, a time of social and political upheaval that shook France to its core. Yet amidst the pages of history and the ruins of time, eerie tales surround this now demolished fortress. Whispers of spectral figures seen wandering the grounds, disembodied voices and sudden cold spots provide a chilling narrative of the unseen. Some say the spirits of the prisoners who once languished in the Bastille's grim cells are still trapped within its spectral walls, their cries for freedom forever echoing in the wind. Even though the Bastille was demolished in the aftermath of the revolution, the Place de la Bastille where it once stood remains a haunting reminder of its past. Today, the July Column stands there, a monument to the revolution that brought down the fortress. The Bastille may be gone, but its haunting legacy continues to echo through time. As we leave the chilling tales of the Bastille behind, we're reminded that history, no matter how daunting, is a ghost that continues to haunt the present, whispering tales of the past into the ear of the future. From one symbol of royal power to another, let's explore the hauntingly beautiful Palace of Versailles. A place where the echoes of a lavish past intertwine with whispers of the supernatural. Built in the 17th century, Versailles was the heart of political power in France until the French Revolution. The grandeur of the palace is undeniable. Its opulent halls, stunning gardens, and intricate details are a testament to the absolute monarchy of the Ancien Regime. But beneath this splendor, there are tales that chill the spine. Among the many ghostly inhabitants, the most famous is undoubtedly Marie Antoinette. The last queen of France before the Revolution, her life was marked by extravagance and controversy. She was known for her lavish parties and immense spending which eventually led to her downfall. Legend has it that she can still be seen wandering the halls of her former home, forever trapped in the place that marked the end of her reign. Visitors have reported seeing a woman, dressed in period clothing, roaming the gardens of the Petit Trianon, a small chateau on the palace grounds that was a favorite retreat of the queen. Others have claimed to hear the faint sounds of music and laughter as though the queen's parties are still in full swing. But it's not just Marie Antoinette who haunts these hallowed halls. There are tales of ghostly figures seen in mirrors, strange footsteps echoing in the corridors, and the chilling sensation of being watched. Some say these are the spirits of those who lived and died during the turbulent times of the French Revolution, their unrest forever imprinted on the palace. So as you walk the grand corridors of Versailles, remember, you might not be alone. The palace is a testament to a bygone era, a place where history and the supernatural coexist, where every shadow could hold a tale, and every echo could be a ghostly whisper from the past. The Palace of Versailles, where royal grandeur meets spectral apparitions. Finally, we reach the Chateau de Chateaubriand, where a tragic love story has left an everlasting spectral imprint. Nestled in the Brittany region of northwestern France, the Chateau de Chateaubriand is a fortress that dates back to the 11th century. A masterpiece of medieval and renaissance architecture, the castle is not only a symbol of the town's rich history but also the setting of a haunting love story that has endured for centuries. This story revolves around Françoise de Foix, the beautiful lady of the manor, and her illicit affair with King Francis I. Françoise was married to Jean de Laval Chateaubriand, a man much older than her. The king, captivated by her beauty, made her his mistress, a secret relationship that continued for years under the nose of her unsuspecting husband. However, as the story goes, the king's jealous wife, Queen Claude, discovered the affair and ordered Francoise to be locked away in the castle's tower. Here, in the cold stone confines of her prison, Francoise met a tragic end. Some say she was murdered, others believe she died of a broken heart, torn away from her royal lover. And it is here, in the lonely tower, that her spirit is said to linger forever trapped within the castle walls. Many have reported seeing her ghost wandering the halls, eternally searching for her lost love. Others claim to hear her mournful cries echoing through the castle on the anniversary of her death, a chilling reminder of her tragic fate. But whether you believe in ghosts or not, the tale of Françoise de Foix adds a layer of intrigue and mystery to the Château de Chateaubriand. It brings to life the castle's history, painting a vivid picture of a time when love, betrayal and tragedy unfolded within its walls. Chateau de Chateaubriand, a testament to a love that transcends the boundary of life and death. 
From the depths of the catacombs to the grand halls of Versailles, we've journeyed through some of France's most haunted spots. We've explored the eerie Mont Saint-Michel, delved into the chilling history of Bastille, and wandered the spectral halls of Château de Chateaubriand. Each location, rich with tales of the supernatural, whispers of a past that refuses to rest. We invite you to ponder these tales, perhaps share your own encounters with the unseen. Remember, these are just stories or are they? Thanks for joining us on this spectral journey through France. Until next time, stay curious.